Hello everyone, in this Python tutorial we're going to go over how to create a stack plot or sometimes called a stacked area chart or a filled in line plot. So let's go ahead and run this and show you what our chart will look like. So all of this code here will produce a chart that looks like this. So now let's go ahead and go over our code. The first thing we did here is we imported numpy, matplotlib.pyplot, and matplotlib.patches. The next thing we did here is we created our data. So these are the data values for our y-axis. So y1 are the data values for the gray area of the chart here. y2 here are the data values for the yellow part of our chart here. And y3 are the values for our red part of the chart here. Then here we created the locations for our labels on the x-axis. The next thing we did here is we created our actual plot and our labels. So to create the actual plot, here we use plt.stackplot, and inside the stack plot round brackets, the first argument we put in is the x for the x-axis. Then here we put in our y-axis data values that we created up here. And then the third argument we put in are the colors for the stacked areas of the chart. Okay, so again, you put in your x and your y values. The x argument creates locations on the x-axis. And in this example, we're going to use those locations to put some specific labels on the x-axis, which will be January through October. Then you put in your y-axis data values, and then you put in your colors. Then here, we created a title for our chart. And then here we created titles for our x and y axis. So you can see the title is here, and then you can see the x and y axis labels here and here. Then here we use plt.xtix to assign our specific labels to our x axis. So to do that, inside the xtix round brackets, we use our x that we created here, and that creates the locations on the x axis. And then here we create the specific labels that we want to be assigned to those locations. Now here we have some more detail or some more visuals that we can add to our plot. So let's go ahead and show you what those do. So let's uncomment this and this. So right now notice that the y-axis values here start at 0, 0.0 and they go to 20 and they are incremented by 2.5. Now if you'd like to change that, you can use plt.yTix and then go ahead and put in a range. And in this case, we use numpy.a range and inside we put 23. So let's go ahead and run this and show you what it does. And we're also going to show you what this grid does and go over that in some more detail in just a second. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see we have our grid and we're going to change that here in just a second. But notice over here on the y-axis, before it looked like this, and maybe you like that better, and that's fine. But if you'd like a little bit more detail, then you could use code like this, which will allow you to increment by one, and you can also increase the max of the y-axis if you'd like as well. Okay, so that's just one quick way that you can control the look and the values of the y-axis a little bit more. Now the other thing we mentioned is this grid. So currently we have a full grid, and it looks like this, and you can see the grid lines go over top. Now if you'd like to keep that grid and put it behind the stacked area chart, one thing you can do is go back up to your stack plot here and then put in an argument called Z order. And we'll assign that a value of two. And once we do that, it should take this grid here, the gray lines, and put it behind the chart. So let's run it. And you can see the grid is still there, but now it's behind the chart, okay? For now, let's go ahead and get rid of that Z order. And you can see that the lines go back over the chart. Next, let's go over how you could put in just one of the axis grid lines. So for this plt.grid, if you take out the true and you put in this code here and run it, then you can see you get the horizontal lines that apply to the Y axis. Okay, so those are just a few ways that you can control your y-axis values and your grid lines. Let's go ahead and get rid of that grid for now. 
And let's also comment out the PLT Y ticks. So now our chart is back to the way it was basically when we started. Next, here we have our legend. And to create our legend, you can see we have our legend on our chart here in the upper left corner. We went ahead and we created variables for our gray patch, our yellow patch, and our red patch here. Now for each patch, we use M patches from our patches module that we imported here. And then we use a dot and inside the patch round brackets here, we assign our color and our label. And that will create the patch and the label that you see here. So we did that for the gray patch, the yellow patch, and the red patch. And then to create the legend, we use plt.legend. And inside the round brackets, we create a list and put the patches inside the list and assign that to the handles. And we've also put in another argument here for the location of the legend, and we assign that upper left. Because if we put the legend over here, it might not look quite as good because it will cover up part of the chart. And then finally, depending on what kind of text editor or IDE you're using, you want to type out plt.show in Spider, the IDE that we're using. I don't believe you have to type out plt.show, but in many other text editors and IDEs, you do have to type that out to actually plot and show your chart. Okay, so that's all we have for this Python tutorial on how to create a stacked area chart. We will be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.